welcome to another crafting episode here on Dole Whip Wishes and Castle Dreams. Thank you for joining us. I've got a really easy craft today, but I'm really excited because it's something we're going to use on our upcoming trip. Uh, so for those of you that maybe have been or maybe you haven't been to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, they do offer trick-or-treating for the kids in the park. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing candy. It's really, really good candy. Um, and it's just a fun experience to go trick-or-treating through the park. Um, they've got different places all over where you can take your kiddos um, and a little map that shows you where to go. They also give you a little treat bag that you can use to collect the candy in. But we found that those bags aren't big enough if you do a ton of trick-or-treating, which you can. You can do as much as you want. Um, so I will be making this right here. Wasn't it cute? It's a trick-or-treat bag um, that my kiddos can use when we go to the park um, that we will be going to soon. I'm so excited. So it is a Cricut project. Um, I did use my Cricut and you can see I'll be using my press as well. Um, I just picked up a, a tote bag from my local craft store. You can do that too or if you're super into sewing you can make your own. Um, and then I found the design that I wanted to put on the front um, and I cut it out with my Cricut. So here's what it looks like and I picked, um, I'll just hold it up with the bag so you can see. Um, I picked an orange sparkly one because I just thought that was super Halloween and super cute. Um, and so it says trick or treat down Main Street. It's got some uh, Mickey bats and a Mickey apple, uh, Halloween apple. So I'm really excited about this. So all I'm going to do, and I've got my heat ironing board underneath, so I can just go ahead and press it here. I'm going to, so I'm going to warm it up a little bit and just make sure that it's per nice and prepared. Um, and I've got a cotton polyester blend and so that they recommend about 280 285 to do that and so then I'm just gonna simply line up my decal on top of my bag and just make sure that it's straight and even and now this is a little tricky because it's not entirely straight and that's what I like it's a little Halloween y because it's a little off um, so I'm just going to do the best that I can to get that on there. Okay. And then it says to use my press for 30 seconds. I've already got it set for the timer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and hit my green button and I'm going to give it light pressure. I'm going to have to do it a couple times because it's not reaching the whole decal. And if you don't have a Cricut machine, um, we will have these decals available for you on our shop. You can go ahead and pick some up. We'll have a bunch of different colors you can pick from. And maybe you want stickers instead. Maybe you want to stick it on a bucket um, instead of a tote bag. We'll make it, oh, there we go. And then I'm gonna move it down and do it again. We'll make it available in either heat transfer or permanent adhesive. If you'd like to do that as well, you'll be able to. And also, if you don't have one of these handy presses, you can use an iron um, and just really make sure you iron it on there and test it before you start, like just peel it really slowly, make sure it's sticking. Um, and if it's not, just keep ironing it um, until it's on there. So, a couple more seconds. Okay. So then, like I said, we're just gonna peel a little bit off Make sure that it's sticking. Oh yeah. It's on. Nope. See, I've got a little bit here that's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Again, just nice light pressure. It doesn't need too much. And I'm gonna make one for each of my kids. I'll show you at the end what they both look like. Um, because my other son picked a red foil instead of the shiny orange um, or sparkly orange one. So I think it's going to turn out really neat. I know red isn't typically a Halloween color, but that's what he chose. So we're going to do that. Okay. Again, just carefully see. And, uh, stay down. 
and you want to kind of try and peel it as much as flat to the bag as you can. That's going to help make sure everything's sticking and not peeling up with your paper as well. There we go. And now just to be on the safe side, I like to do it once more. Um, just kind of press, not the whole time, but just a little bit, um, just to make sure that it's really on there. Cause my kids are gonna use it. It's gonna get a lot of wear and tear. So I really wanna make sure that my vinyl is properly stuck to my bag. And there's our first one. Did that turn out so cute. I love it. They're gonna have so much fun. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna do the next one really quick and then I'll show you what that looks like. And there's our second bag and it looks so cute I love the way that it turned out the shiny red it looks Halloweenish enough I think it's gonna be awesome so that was it it was super simple like I said um, and if you do want to pick up this decal it is available in our shop you can do that um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our YouTube family and be sure to tap that bell as well so you don't miss any of our videos. We've got a new one each week. Um, sometimes they're Disney crafts, sometimes they're um, copycat recipe videos, sometimes they're tips and tricks for visiting the parks. And of course, we also do our travel vlog where we take you along on our Disney vacations like the one we've got coming up. So you don't want to miss any of those. So again, be sure to tap that bell. Thanks again for stopping by and we hope to see you real soon.